Meantime, Bill, the close call on Northwest Airlines Flight 253 from Amsterdam has sparked swift changes in airline security, and travelers around the world are already we're noticing a steep difference. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas joins us this morning from Reagan National Airport. Good morning, Pierre. Vienna, air travelers overseas coming to the U.S. will now face new restrictions. And if you look at the nightmare that almost took place, you'll understand why. In charges filed Saturday, we learned chilling new details into how the suspect who had high explosives hidden in his underwear planned to execute his deadly mission. According to the charges, the suspect went to the bathroom for approximately 20 minutes. Upon returning to his seat, he stated that his stomach was upset and he pulled a blanket over himself. Passengers then heard popping noises similar to firecrackers and some observed his pants and the wall of the airplane on fire. He was quickly tackled by other passengers who put out the fire. There was one guy, he jumped over all the other people and he took care of it. So the fire went out. Officials say the 80 grams of PETN the suspect had on him was more than shoe bomber Richard Reed had in his failed plot to bring down a plane in 2001. Due to the security failure, effective immediately, air travelers from overseas will face new restrictions. International travelers will be subject to increased pat-downs and gate screening. In some cases, in the final hour of their flights, passengers will not be allowed out of their seats. Usually I just try to block everything out, but today I think I'll be looking around a little more. There may also be limitations on items that they store on their laps. Blankets, pillows, laptops may be banned. Passengers on domestic flights may also see similar restrictions. If nothing else is a wake-up call, and we're going to have to address this. Expect congressional hearings. Lawmakers say they want to know why the suspect was not on a no-fly list, even though he was known to U.S. intelligence. They also want to know just how, given all the new security enhancements since 9-11, the suspect got explosives on the plane in the first place. There may now be increased pressure to broadly expand the use of body scanners. But those body scanners are expensive and take time to deploy, and there's sure to be legal challenges.